Hello, friends and enemies. My name is Gerd. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem 7. Blazing Sword, Blazing Blade, whatever Heroes wants to call it. I refuse to call it Blazing Blade. It's Blazing Sword as far as I'm concerned. Hector Hard Mode, Iron Man. Still no deaths, but we're only, uh, we've are only only done two chapters so far. Anyway, Hector rescues Eliwood, and the two friends are reunited. The Paladin Marcus reveals news. Someone has called for Eliwood's death. Ferre's problems must be connected to the attempt on Eliwood's life. Searching for more clues, Hector and friends depart for the castle of Marcus Santarus. Notice how the story just kind of immediately starts focusing more on Eliwood. Almost like this story is like actually Eliwood mode and it's like, oh wait, let's make a whole Hector mode just for no reason. Ugh, I don't, I don't like that this game has Eliwood mode and Hector mode. It's a waste of time. Master Ephidel, what is the meaning of this? Peace, Lord Hellman. Whatever is wrong. You said you were just going to frighten Eliwood. Your men almost killed him. My patience is at an end. I've decided I must tell e Eliwood everything and apologize. You would betray us. I am tired of you and the Black Fang. Now remove yourself from my castle. Your presence pains me. Lord Hellman, is there nothing I can do to change your minds? Nothing. In that case, you're no longer of any use. What? All right. There's the castle, Lilywood. Hmm. Who's there? Show yourself. Ah! Can't believe I was spotted by a snot-nosed stripling. Who are you? No, never mind. Keep your name. Why should I care what a corpse is called? Oh, Hector, those be fighting words. The cop thinks he's a wolf. Does your bite match your bark? Tell you what, if you make it to the castle alive, we'll find out, eh? <laughs> Alright. That's uh, strong fighting words coming from someone who's weak to the wolf bale. Hey, you. Yeah, the new dog. Get this right or you're gone. I know, I know. I just got this job. I don't want to lose it. Of course, the smart thing to do would have been to not get involved with this ugly bunch. Gotta have gold if I want to eat, though. I was too picky before. If I think about the time I passed out in Kaelin, ooh, nothing funny about that. That man, what was his name? Who's gonna recruit me? Matthew? If it hadn't been for him, I would've starved to death. What are you mumbling about? Get over here now! Yes, I'm coming. At least I've got work. Alright. Alright. Say, Gerd, not sure how to say this. You're a full blown. Okay, whatever. Ah, uh, blah blah blah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Humbly waits my no doubt brilliant orders. Okay. So I think the way I did this is I would all I would uh let's see. Right. Okay. So the safe thing to do. Um Let's see, how how does Rebecca do against this guy? Okay. So you get a little bit of experience. Um and she's not going to die. So as long as I put Marcus in front, it should be good. So I don't remember what my strategy for is this. Um, I I did it like a, I said, I might have said before, I did a bit of a practice run of this game. I didn't, I just mostly tested the waters to make sure I don't like, oh, come on, to make sure I don't immediately fail. And it seems I, I was most success, successful in doing that. But God, Marcus is so strong. Um, but, I didn't really play too far. I think I only played up to um, the the Merlinus Guidance chapter and finished it. So that's as, that's as much as you can expect from me in terms of quality gameplay. Anything beyond that, we might be pushing it. Okay, that guy's a javelin, so I think, uh, what did I do? I think I started by, yeah, I started by baiting these guys. Um, so I'm gonna, let's see. Yes, as far as I, 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 I want to go farther with, let's see, because I want to bait both these guys, but, hmm, I can do it with Dorcas, um, I'll deal with Dorcas, I'll put Dorcas there. Yeah, I think what I did was I, um, I fought the Pegasus Knights with Bartra and Dorcas, and then I just kind of saw where that got me. It got me far enough, I guess. 
Uh, but I think everyone else is probably fine. Um, go there. Um, I don't know, because I, I do have to get to that house pretty quickly. So otherwise, I'm not, there is, a, you, that is the one thing you have to do. You have to get to that house, otherwise you're not going to be able to recruit um, Merlinus. Or, you got the guy in chat, but I think you get Merlinus regardless. But, okay, Sarah, your healing is going to be needed. Elliwood, I know there's like at least a cav or two down here, right? Uh, one. <laughs> but, Elliwood's rapier might help, as well as, you know, obviously, Hector's wolf bail. Um, I think, uh, do I want to just like go for... Yeah, I'll I'll break that myself. I'll let uh, Oswin take care of fighting that guy. I know I might need Oswin down there, but I do have Marcus, so that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's see how this works out. Okay. Yeah, they... Ugh, Dorcas, come on! This is not what I hired you for. Ow. And they all... They, they hit kind of hard. All right, well, I could have killed both of them, but I guess that's not happening. Okay, and oh, right, tax into Marcus. All right, so as long as I keep Marcus healthy, this should be fine, and okay, Marcus just goes and does that. Ugh, Marcus is really good. He is definitely, I think he's one of the better uh, Jagan type units in the series. He kind of stays useful for at least three quarters of the game. Um, I think he's like, not quite as good as Titania and Seth, but he's definitely up there. Um, if we want to count Sigurd as a Jagan, then let's we can count him, but I'm not going to count him as one. Sigurd's kind of the lord who just happens to be Jagan-like. Okay, they attack Rebecca because they deal more damage. Makes sense. And she leveled up. All right, can I get some speed? I want some speed so I can double stuff. Okay, speed. That's good. Is that enough to double this guy, though? I don't think it is, but... Okay. Um, okay, so pretty soon... Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm already, like, close to having... Because that guy spawned. These guys are, like, already almost in danger. <laughs> so, let's uh, try the hand axe on... Uh, whatever one we can actually kill. Dorcas, I swear, if you miss again. Also, okay, Dor Dorcas does have a vulnerary, so if something bad happens, I should be fine. Should be fine. Okay, thank you. Wow, that that missing that 95 really messed up this run. <laughs> or this uh this attempt here. All right, Bartrett. Uh, no pressure, just don't miss. Thank you. All right, so I'll. I think as soon as Oswin. Oh God, Oz. This will take you two turns. That's not fun. But he takes no damage, so whatever. As long as I'm able to get over there before the thief does. I don't know when the thief spawns, but hopefully it'll be, uh, you know, not so, not so late that it becomes a problem. Let's see. Uh, okay, I think I know I want to do this. Um, okay, so I will. Let's see, seven. Um, no, it's not gonna work. Um, well, I'll start by healing Rebecca because she's, she's the most injured over here. I want to get Matthew as far down there as possible. Um, actually, wait. How much damage does Loman do to these guys? Does he deal nine? And then Matthew does four times two, was it? Oh, come on, Matthew. What about to this guy? Uh, four times two as well. Okay. And there is still, you know, the issue of anything else being a problem here. And, yeah, all, all that is just completely thrown out the window. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think I will, uh, Rebecca did how much? Five, jeez. One, two, three, four, five. That seems like Hector's kill. So I'll, I will warm up with Matthew. Hector can definitely deal 10 damage. I have faith in him at least being able to do that. And then I guess I can, I can probably move forward with Marcus. But I'm a little worried that I'm going to start pulling too many guys because these forts do kind of spawn a lot of dudes out of them. Um, it should be fine though. Marcus is like pretty sturdy. Um, I don't quite want to break out the, oh, I, I should give him a better weapon though. Um, oh wait, now Mar Marcus does have to kill this thing first. 
Because that, that archer is going to cause me some problems. Got him. And got him. Yeah, Marcus being good. What's new? Let's see. Um, okay. So, Hector, don't let me down. 11. Perfect. Don't you dare miss. I've had enough missing. Thank you. I, I think I'm entitled some lucky hits after I, I missed that 95 of all things. Actually, what I should do is I should bring... Re oh, should I have Rebecca be... Huh. I think I can take... I can probably take some pressure off of... Let's see, can Rebecca go into the mountain? Not quite. But I can, if I if I lure one of the other Pegasus... This Pegasus guy to be over here... I can probably just get some pressure off... Off my people over here... Off, um... Yeah, excuse me. Bartra and Dorcas... Like, preemptively, so... Maybe it is a good idea to start sending people this way. Okay. Now, I know in that house is the, the mine, and... Aside from doing that dumb mine glitch that lets you, like, control enemies or something dumb like that, I should be fine to not have to bother with it. Okay, and they are coming my way. They are coming my way. I wish the fighter bros here had more defense. They're kind of lacking. Okay, so he will do a lot. How much is Dor Three defense. Dorcas, please. That's terrible. Okay, I'll just use a vulnerary. Gotta keep him alive. Um, Bartra should be mostly... Yeah, oh, four defense. Yeah, Bartra is the tanky one, guys. He'll be... He'll do great. Um, let's see. I can hit him with the javelin. Uh, he should... He should die next turn. There we go. Yeah, nice. And also, he... Oh, he's gonna go onto the forest, isn't he? That's fine. I should be able to stab him, unless I get really unlucky, but I think I'll be fine. Uh, let's equip the normal axe here. Bartra still has no damage on him, and giving the kill to Bartra is gonna help. Okay. Um, so before I do anything else, let's... Uh, let's top off Marcus, because I do... I am a little concerned about him. Only a little, but... Oh, I should have, um... Uh, kind of wish I gave a javelin to him. Oh, well. Um, there's also Hector, but... Now... Nah, Safer just kind of warm things up with Marcus. If Marcus kills everything, then oh well. <laughs> there, there goes my experience rating, but I can't... Not like I'm, uh... Playing for experience anyway. Yeah, surprise, surprise, this is not going to be a, a ranked run or anything. Ugh. Okay. Um, so I think I can kind of preemptively stop people from spawning too soon. Hopefully, uh, Guy, Guy, however, the, however you want to say his name, isn't going to be uh, too much of a problem. I don't think he moves until you approach him anyway, so... Let's assume he's going to be fine. Um, I actually want to assume that this guy's going to attack Rebecca. Um, let's see. What's the safest place to put her, though? I mean, he's going to do it... I know, he's going to do it from... Let's, uh, let's put her down... Hmm. I mean, I suppose anywhere is fine, but let's, uh... Okay, I think I know where I want him. I'm going to put her here. Um, uh, I, I can also alternatively put Matthew there, because he can kind of just, like, take a hit. If I take a hit, I mean, he's probably going to dodge or something. Okay, Hector. Uh, okay, they're not going to attack Hector because that would be probably the least amount of damage. And if I put the hand axe on him, they're they're going to just assume that I, he's not a safe target. Strategies. I think of them because I am playing a strategy game. Or a, a TRPG, as um, the game likes to call itself. Marcus, don't be that strong. Can you be a little bit weaker? I want some of these guys to survive. Though I suppose it's good that Marcus is basically just a delete button for whenever I need it. It's a good thing I bought all those extra weapons, too. Okay. It's gonna be so Nice! Bartra, thank you. Excellent. Good job, my dude. You're gonna be buff and burly in no time. Or, like, or buffer and burly-er in no time. Wow. No hit on Marcus. Great. Aha! 
fell for fell for my ruse. All according to Keikaku. Translator's note, Keikaku means plan. Is, is me just saying old means uh, gonna get old ever? I, I guess inherently it is old. Oh well. Okay, so they didn't all move. Okay. Um, so I think the first first target should probably be the uh, guy is going to be a problem there. I think I'll, I'll let this... Okay. Um, as long as I get rid of at least this guy, I should be fine. How does Hector do? 13. It's not too bad. Uh, then Lowen. 10. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, so Hector, start, um, but do it from there, of course. As long as I kill most of the dangerous stuff, this should work out. Nice. This is all part of my, my master plan to just feed another kill to Rebecca. Don't worry. Don't worry. I've got I, I've got this planned out. Just uh, don't get hit. That's all. It's all masking. Don't get hit. Nice. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Um. Okay, so Oswin, uh, just kill him. I kind of wish I had Oswin down there. He might have actually been a better choice. But this actually may have been what I did last time I tried this. So I don't know. Okay, Bartra. Nice. Why couldn't you have gotten that the first time? That's okay. Level up. All right. Let's gain lots of speed because Bartra's a speed demon. Okay, he gained some useful stats. Defense isn't too bad. Five is uh, as good as Ellie would. Yeah, he's going to be a real tank, guys. Tank Bartra. <laughs> um, okay. So let's see. They will deal... Yeah, how, how screwed is Rebecca if she gets hit by both of these guys? Okay, 12 and... 10. Okay, yeah, I don't want to risk Rebecca at all here. Um, so... Yeah, I didn't really think this through as much as I thought I did, did I? Um, I could finish him off with Matthew, but then also this leaves Matthew susceptible to... Well, might not be too bad, actually. Because if, uh... Let's see, that guy does... Let's see, he also has a hand axe. Um, Matthew is very good at dodging that. Okay, so this guy has 95, eh, I don't know. I could be doing something stupid here, but I also could be just fine. Let's see. Um, or, no. Let's, oh wait, hold on, I can just rescue people. What am I doing? No, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, so Rebecca gets... Well, let me just make sure I have the resources to do so. Okay, Rebecca. Um, yeah, okay, so this is this is perfectly fine. Okay, so Rebecca will kill this guy. Please don't die. Thank you. Or please don't get hit. I, I, I'm just very wary of, like, any hit rate that's not 100 now after the fiasco at the beginning of the chapter. All right. Well, let me make sure I have... Okay. If I, if I poorly planned that, that could have been bad. Okay, take, and then drop. Oh, I miss rescue. I miss rescuing. It's been too long since I've played a game that had it. <laughs> yeah. Because I, like I, I went from FE12 to FE3 to this game. Okay. Marcus, I need you to kill this guy. He's a little bit of a danger. And I think, um... Uh, uh, I think people are going to start spawning out of these forts starting next turn, so I should be careful. Um, and everyone is completely, t uh, not Dorcas, but I think I'll let Dorcas come down here because I do want, I do want Sarah to be closer to the action so she can, you know, heal the people who actually need to be healed. Oof, that's, that's a little, that's a bit rough, but I think it's fine. Should be fine. Okay, Lowen, don't take too many hits. What did I just say? Please don't. Okay, that's not terrible. That could have been a lot worse. Okay, um, this guy is probably the real threat. So I will, uh... 
Okay, Lowen gets healed first, obviously. Um, let's see. Oh, wait. Can that guy... That guy can hit Sarah, but that one can't. So, Sarah does get hit. Actually, she's probably going to dodge it anyway, but her avoid's decent. So, let's uh, top off Lowen before I do anything else. Uh, that guy had a hand axe, right? Just confirming. Yep, okay. Um, I think... Hector should be... Let's see. Uh, 13, and then Lowen does... 9. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the wolf bail here. Unfortunately. I gotta make sure this guy dies. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Level up, what do we got? <gasps> he gained res! Now he can fight mages! <laughs> Hector is not fighting any mages. I don't know who I'm kidding. Okay, that guy will deal... Um, actually, Lowen's probably gonna level up from this, so... Let's uh, hit with that. Don't miss, please. Poor favor. Thank you. You notice how good my espanol is that I say poor favor instead of por favor. Defense. Ah! Lowen also gaining res. He's also a mage killer. He's going to kill all of those mages with his bare hands. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not counting on that. Uh, Dorcas. Go on there. I know exactly what happened to Dorcas. He went that way. Okay, Oswin, it's uh, you're going to visit the house. And then I guess you'll start, like, helping out over there. Because Oswin can kind of tank, like, a lot of the map just kind of by himself. Okay. Um. <coughs> let's, uh, let's kill him here. I'm kind of worried about how I'm going to fight, um, Guy here. I'm going to call him Guy. I don't know if it's Guy or Guy, but I'm going to say Guy. I don't know how I'm going to fight him, because, uh, he's kind of dangerous. Not going to lie. I'm not going to tell a single falsehood. Um, let's see. I'm just sort of checking how viable it is for Ellie Wood to go down there, and it looks like not at all. Okay, so let's, uh... Um, no, I think I want him to stand somewhere else. Um, I could make him... Okay, this might be a little dumb, but let's have Rebecca take that guy. He'll probably attack her, because she's a bit more of a more desirable target. Um, Ellie Wood, he does have an iron sword, so he doesn't have to use his rapier. Okay. Frantically checking ranges. That's... Okay. All right. Uh, wait. Crap. No, that's not good because... Now... Ugh. Now I have to move everyone out of the way just so I can kind of, like, be able to get him without anyone killing him. Because I think Matthew is, like, just out of range. Matthew might be able to reach him, but I'm not counting on it. No, I think he's one space away from being able to do it. Yeah. Yeah, he needs one more space, unfortunately. Crap! Ugh. God. Alright. This did not go very well. Ugh, come on. Alright, I guess, uh... It's a tactical retreat. Um... Sarah. Um... How's Lowen doing? Lowen's doing fine, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that should be good. Um... Ellie would go there. Um, Matthew. Crap. Um, let's see, actually. Okay, no one kills each other. So, uh, assuming he doesn't get a crit, which I don't think he will. Honestly, yeah. Whoa. How freaking fast is this guy? He get eight speed? Seriously? There's there's a, a hand axe brigand that, that Marcus can't double? What sort of backwards dimension have I wandered into? Well, okay, I just kind of hope that, um, actually, no, let's see. So, so if Marcus gets crit by him, I swear if Marcus crits Guy, I'm going to be very mad because he's kind of essential for the strategy that I think most people use on this, uh, on the next chapter. Let's see, this guy has 13. Mar okay, so Marcus won't die if he gets hit by Guy and him. So I should be fine. 
But if I... If Guy gets killed, I'm going to be so mad. Because there's not going to be a, an easy way to, to follow up on that. Okay. Uh, Dorcas, just go there. Um, Guy, he's going to go attack Marcus, no matter where he is. Um, let's heal Rebecca. So no matter where Marcus is, I should be able to... Uh, all right, I think I put him in the best position to, uh, let's see. Um, I'll do it for him. Oh, wait, no, I don't really have a choice. He's going to attack from there, probably. So, I guess... Let's see. I mean, Hector has to go up there, of course. Um, yeah, I can put Matthew right here. That's just out of range, right? Yeah. I hate not being able to toggle ranges. It's, it's something I got so used to being able to actually do. Okay. Oh, yeah. Give me a torch, I think, right? Yeah. I got so used to being able to check ranges, and every time there's a game where I can't do it, it's just, like, really disorienting. And... Oh, right. Big man can go over mountains. Excellent. Okay. No crit. No crit, Marcus. Thank you. I guess that's the only safe way to, to do this encounter. Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bunch of guys are coming. Bunch of guys came along with Guy. Ooh, that stings. That stings a little bit. But I think we're safe now. All right. Um, we did that successfully. Um, there probably was a faster way to do this, but it probably involved just, like, charging completely ahead with Marcus, which I did not really intend on doing. So I gotta give some people some experience. Preferably Matthew. Matthew's gonna need to get some eventually. Uh, maybe he'll be able to get her off stealing. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Um, here's the thing I'll do. Until I run out, I'll just show off a random cipher card I have every video. Here's one I like. It's like a, a chibi Celica thing. I was really happy when I got this one. Uh, Cel Celica is like my second favorite character in the series. And this R is just so cute. I love it. It's, it's fun. I like pulling fun. I like fun, goofy cards. Uh, but the Cypher R is just amazing in general. Alright. My name's Garrett. I hope you're having fun. Uh, my units are still having fun because none of them died yet. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Have fun leaving comments. Uh, I know you guys are going to tear it up down there. I encourage it. Go leave some mayhem in the comments, but like good mayhem. I don't know. See you in the next one. Bye.